It was the brilliantly innovative Federico Tessio, owner breeder of the Italian super cult Rebo, unbeaten across Europe in 16 top races in the mid 1950s, who delivered the ultimate tribute to today's great occasion when he said, the thoroughbred exists because its selection has depended not on experts, technicians or zoologists, but on one piece of wood, the winning post of the Epsom Derby. It is a race run on a course which tests a racehorse like no other. From stall crash opposite the stands, the field climbs 184 foot in the first lung stretching half mile before plunging back down a fall of 100 foot as they barreled the descent to Tatton Corner. Then it's the straight with its trappy camber that rolls towering horses down towards the inside rail. It's not so much a race course as a ride that's escaped from Disney. And the Derby has always been the great British day out. A raucous, carefree, anything goes afternoon for every strata of society. Epsom is less than 15 miles from central London and the East End used to empty out as crowds which ran into hundreds of thousands descended for a free day on the common land of the Downs. Time was when Parliament was adjourned on Derby Day so members could join the throng to see the race that Benjamin Disraeli described as the Blue Riband of the Turf. And in 19th century England, the first Wednesday in June, was the annual mass gathering of princes and paupers, knobs and yobs. Sir Winston Churchill, who had an instinct for the people's pulse like no other, was a huge Derby aficionado who knew that for one day of the year, the nation was less interested in the equality of man than it was in the inequality of horses. And galloping through that tunnel of sound towards Tessio's famous piece of wood for over 230 years have come the defining titans of the turf. Within recent decades, the likes of the majestic Seabird, Lester Piggott and Nijinsky, the small but mighty Mill Reef, Shergar so electrifyingly superior and the superbly durable Sea the Stars all made that huge leap to the immortal by winning the greatest flat race in history. And with its gypsy fortune tellers, fun fair, open top buses and unswerving royal patronage, the Derby is far more than a race and the madcap point of liftoff for the great British sporting summer. If you ever tire of Derby Day, then you're tired of life.